Hello there and welcome to my very next tutorial in using Godot. In this tutorial we're going to make an Asteroids clone. So I've got a very basic Asteroids where you have to move around with your little player and it's got a little bit of drift to it and you can shoot and you can shoot and uh, hit some of those Asteroids and when you hit them they turn into three smaller Asteroids. And the uh, game also has levels right now and if we have time we'll also dive into that but it may take a little bit too long to do that and also it has a little bit of a menu where when you lose you uh, have a play again button and I've added in little silly features like uh, camera shake and wrapping the um, asteroids around so uh, hopefully this won't take too long we're going to cover some of the things like planning uh, before we dive into this um, but I'm looking forward to the series I hope you are too so one of the biggest problems that I come across when people are wanting to make games, it's not that they don't know how to use the engine, it's that they don't know how to plan what it is that they're trying to make. By making games that already exist, it's a really good way that you can manage to break down that task or all the different tasks that you're going to need into something that you can actually make or action. Um, when I do this with my students, I often find that um, you know they'll they'll write a task, uh, a huge task like make asteroids or make game or do first level, and that's not really not good enough to be able to do the task that you you need if you don't know what the task is, so you don't know very finely exactly what it is that you need to do. There's absolutely no way you're going to make this. So I'm going to um, just plan this, and uh, you take a few minutes to think about what it is that. You might do to break this down into um, manageable doable tasks that you could have for the game that you've just seen in that short video clip and i'm gonna um, make some of these tasks and uh, you're going to see how close you are to in your ideas So we'll get started with uh, gathering together some of the assets. So you notice I uh, can't draw and uh, I don't want to um, waste time in this video with you watching me how to draw. You can just do that. So I've went to Kenny, um, so Kenny.nl and I've found uh, the Space Shooter Redux pack and this is absolutely amazing. There is all that we need. So we've got the rocks and we've got the uh, any of the ships that you want to choose. And we've also got some lasers in here that we can choose. So just download that. When you've um, when you've downloaded that, you'll end up with this uh, PNG folder, and inside there is all the things that you need. Um, I'm going to use the uh, one of these lasers. We we'll use those soon, and I'm going to use the uh, ship as well for that. The next thing that I'm going to get is the laser sound. So again, I went to soundbible.com for this one, and these are all completely free. And you need to put the uh, person, this uh, Mike Koenig that made this one, uh, you're supposed to attribute him with uh, this game. So this is me attributing him as I uh, give this video. And I chose this laser sound. So the laser sound is fine. It's, uh, it's a bit long. I could do with 
uh, chopping it short but it'll do for now and you just want to download these as a WAV so you can just click on that and download those and remember where you put them and also I'm going to choose for my explosion this um, shotgun old school and it's uh, it's not bad it's um it's one of the better ones that you can find and this one is ra the sun god again is um someone that you're going to have to attribute so there is me attributing the uh, maker of this sound and again just download this one as wav and in the next video we're going to get started with making it so uh stick with it